Good morning. Good morning. This is day number two at the Balloon Festival. It is. It's got a new lens. It's very excited about it. Hello, welcome back to the channel. If you watched that clip on our last vlog from a couple of uh, our outdoor vlog from a couple of sessions ago, you'll have seen me talking about getting a new lens and Helen rather glibly pulling my leg about it and about being excited. And of course I was because cameras are something I do get excited about. But it prompted a few people to ask me about camera gear and different lenses that uh, I use and what equipment I use. So we thought we'd make it subject of one of our five minutes on series. So here we go, starting the clock, five minutes now. Okay, well, the main thing I use camera wise is a Nikon 7 II mirrorless uh, full frame camera. Um, it's, the, it's my staple camera for all events. It works for still shots and video. It's in a photo uh, mode, it's got just short of 50 million pixels, 45.7 pixels. Um, very light, very good in low light, uh, extremely effective. It's got room for the new um, extreme compact flash. Um, uh, the SIM cards, which are, I think are the best out there and for fast transfer of data, but also gives you for a data uh, port for a second card, uh, which is a backup. So there's no prospect of, uh, if your card's full, you, can't, you can either set it to overflow or you can actually set it to backup. So that works very well for me in this, uh, this piece of kit. It's got advanced tracking, tracking options on autofocus, and as I say, works very well in low light. Video is just as good. Don't tend to use it so much for video because we tend to work as a pair. Helen tends to video and I tend to photograph, but it does make uh, and does use some very good video footage. All 4K, of course, and at multiple speeds. A very advanced eye detection for tracking humans, animals, and generally for high speed work around planes and cars and uh, things like that. So that's, that's my absolute go-to, I love that. Most redeeming factor, and I've mentioned it once already, is the lightness of it means I can go walking up hills with it and it's not breaking my back in the backpack, so that's really effective. I use um, with my camera a uh, three different or four different sorts of lenses. I have the um, this lens, which is a wide angle. It's a 14 to 30, um, four aperture S-line Z lens, the super wide focus stuff. And I've got a series of Hymic uh, filters that um, format high tech filters, which go on the end to deal with long exposure photos like this. I've then got a, a medium range, uh, which is on the camera itself lens, which is a 2470 uh, S line. And that's my walking about camera really. If I'm walking around towns or anywhere like that, I'll have that lens on because it's probably the best option. You never quite get the right lens you need at times, but that's life, you have to pick one. And then the next one up, which is the new lens, which is featured in the video, is the 70 to 200. 2.8 aperture, which means that it's very good in low light. It's a very good piece of glass. And this is my walkabout camera for when I'm out in the countryside. You might be surprised that I don't take the super telephoto with me, but I find that this, even at 200 mil max, crops in very well. It's full frame uh, on the camera, so, so I can use that. But I can drop the camera to DX or crop frame to give me more distance if I need to. I'll show you a couple of pictures here. Now I mentioned the telephoto now. They're all Nikon lenses, Z Nikon lenses. This is a Sigma. But there's two reasons why I've gone for Sigma. One is it's a pretty good piece of kit, but secondly, it's nowhere near as expensive as the Z lens of this length. So given that I don't do so much of this, um, this is a good option. It has a, an adapter on there, which is designed for the uh, Z camera, and it's, uh, it works really quite well, really, for the type of usage I need. But this is very heavy, and I wouldn't really want to be carrying this very far, certainly not on a shoulder strap needs to be on a tripod, a tripod, which I'll come to in a minute. But these are some of the pictures I've caught with this lens recently. Both these uh, cameras uh, lenses all go on tripods. I use Benro tripods, both full tripods and a mono, and I've had a gimbal to support the long lenses on the top. Moving on to video, I've already mentioned the camera does take good video, but in actual fact, we tend to use uh, three options. The camera that I'm talking you to now, which is the Sony ZV-1, with a wide angle lens on. But it's very good for face-to-face -face stuff like this. It's very good uh, in good light. It's an all round good camera, but it suffers in one area. And that's that its stabilization isn't the best. If you've got one of these, you'll know what I mean. When you're moving it around, it can, can give you quite jerky footage. So our go-to when we're out and about is the DJI Pocket 2. It's Helen's camera, she loves it. Uh, it's got a gimbal on, so it tracks easy. 
pans, it gives you good cinematic footage and the sound reproduction and sound capture is very good on it. The only time we wouldn't use this normally is if we've got something fast action, if it was on a helmet or on a bike or attached to the side of the car. When we move across to the GoPro, simply because this is robust. If this gets dropped, it goes underwater, it's solid, it, it sort of will survive the impact if it falls off the car. This one would most certainly break because it's got a gimbal on the top which would be more fragile. So this is for heavy duty stuff, but this is for um, everything else. This is the go-to camera. It's better quality, uh, more reliable, and doesn't take as much colored coding as this one does. So hopefully that's within the five minutes. I'll find out in a minute. Uh, that's what I'm carrying in the bag, and it's what I get excited about. Thanks for watching, Martin out.